Whoa, uh, buddy. I, was, me, uh, I don't care. My bladder doesn't have a time limit. Uh, 50 feet down the hallway. Sure. You saw me <laughs> I, walking. I just came 50 feet up elevators. Go over there. Whoa. Damn. This is your fault. guys we're back break room blitz thanks blitz. for watching i'm your boy d'anthony i'm my boy don i'm my boy conch doing something with his feet <laughs> um <laughs> so we went to just we just went to go see deep water horizon very good movie it's a great movie i would say everyone needs to be saying that so yes we got our shirts again guys yeah. x-men yeah all right <laughs> But uh, this movie, I mean, you want to talk about... Now, this is another documentary piece, right? So yeah, this you know. is a story is set on an offshore drilling rig, Deepwater Horizon. It's called Deepwater Horizon, uh, which exploded during April 2010 and created the worst oil spill in U.S. history. So we all know that because it was all over the news, yeah. that broken pipe that was spewing out all that oil. We just couldn't believe how can they just couldn't stop it. Yeah, yeah they had like a camera underwater. <clears throat> you could see a live feed of like all this oil being pumped out. Right. So if you remember that, it's about the oil rig and, and what happened with the people. Definitely remember the commercials. Yeah. Where they had all the animals and oil. And with the, the Don. Yeah. The Don, the soap. I will remember Little rubber ducky. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> So, <laughs> so we got Mark Wahlberg, Kurt Russell, Kate Hudson, yeah. Dylan O'Brien, and Gina Rodriguez. Yeah, Gina. So we pretty much know most of those those actors or actresses. Um, but I really liked Mark Wahlberg. I like Mark Wahlberg movies. I don't know if everyone does. Mark Wahlberg. I'm a, big, I'm a team team Mark Wahlberg ever since Rockstar. Yeah. yeah! I passed by him at my old job and he was like in the restroom and like I was holding the door for him. It's and getting weird. So I mean like we were about the same height so I was like that's my interaction with Mark You were the same height? Yeah. What? Yeah. He's not tall. Oh, he's, he's a little like, bitty He's buff, like maybe, maybe a little bit people. more tall than just a I got to meet him at uh, <laughs> Comic Con when they did Max Payne because I got to work I got to work with the security guys where they walked in and he actually was like hey what's up man? He grabbed my hand came up and I, like tanked me in the back because his arm's like a freaking tank. Yeah. And I was like, Ugh! But yeah, yeah. I met him and Mila Kunis that year. Mila Kunis, I love her. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to just go. So, Blitz. Blitz. Blitz session. I loved it. I'm going to say it's one of at least the top five, if not top three movies of the year for me. Wow. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I liked everything about it. I, I love historical events. I'm a, I don't, I don't want to say historian, but... I do like history, and there was a lot of stuff that I didn't know. They didn't really talk about the rig in the uh, media, so to be able to see that was awesome. Um, I thought his character was really witty. Um, he seemed like he knew what he was talking about. Um, I liked the explosions for sure. Wish we would have deboxed it. Uh, you know, it would have been so awesome. The guy in front of us was deboxing. I was like, should have did it. Yeah. Um, I liked how uh, it was a lot of emotion. I'm like I've always said, I'm a fan of emotions. A lot of emotion in there, um, which and I have a family. And if something like that would have happened, just to see them again, it's, I would feel like I don't even deserve to see my family again with all that happened. I would be so like, oh my gosh, I made it out of that scenario, mm -hmm. and my family is here. I would probably just break down crying. So I, it was definitely impactful for me. Um, I would just, def I just liked it. That, that's all I'm gonna say. Everything is gonna be positive about it. I don't even think I can even say anything bad about it. So what's your one out of ten if review? I was to give it, oh man. Ooh, um, so what's your ten out of ten review? <laughs> uh, shoot, pressure. I would probably give it a nine, if not a ten. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a nine though. I got everything that I I like in a a. a a movie yeah. and everything I would like in that type of a movie since right. it was a recreation of a true story. Mm -hmm. So I didn't feel like stuff was missed out. I didn't feel like they added anything. Yeah. I just felt like they were really mm -hmm. telling it very well. I thought it was better than Sully. Woo! All right. So, Mic drop. There you go. All right. So I got to give it a blitz session. I, so first of all, I highly recommended this movie over Miss Peregrine. 
But I was forced into that movie. So, hey, you made me watch Superman and Batman. All right, well. Which was a great movie. It wasn't that great. Yeah, it made me want to cry. However, this movie, on the other side of the spectrum, was awesome. I love seeing this movie. I love this, you know, it's a, it's a true life event. This actually happened, you know? Right. And, it, you know, they put BP on blast. Like, worst oil spell ever. You yeah. guys are, you know, crooks and killers and all this bad stuff, you know? Right. It's like over this event. So, character-wise, Mark Wahlberg, Kurt Russell, those are our two badasses of this movie. I got that authoritative figure of yeah. them. You know, it's just like, we got Mark Wahlberg, who's this, our, our engineer. It's just like, well, you know what? You guys got 110 problems, and this is one, this is one, this is one, you know? And, like, he was listing it off to them, and they're like, who are you? And they're like, well, I'm the engineer running this thing, you know? Um, <laughs> I'm the guy that just dropped my nuts on yeah, the table. Exactly. You know? <laughs> and then we got Kurt Russell that's really just like, I'm going to go, you know, rip somebody a new one, you it's know? It's Kurt Russell. You know? And then Kate Hudson, she's gorgeous. She, she plays that wifey role so well, you know? And it's just like, you know, she her sense of panic, like, damn, my husband's going to die, you know? This thing's blasted all over the news. You could only imagine, you know? And then this other uh, chick, Gina Rodriguez. She was, she's gorgeous, first of all, but she's like kind of like that little badass chick, you know? It's like, get out of the way. I'm going to like, you know, push the freaking kill button on this thing. So she, her, her character was pretty dope. But the movie overall was excellent. Loved it. If I had to give it a rating, definitely a 9 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10, you know? Uh, there, there are some elements of the movie that I felt like, you know, I would have cared a little bit more for, like... Gina's character kind of frustrated me. Like, I wish she pushed that button, you know? And yeah. Anyway, but it was really great. It was a great movie. I felt for it. I was like, panic, like, explosion, action. It was awesome. Um, this movie Gosh. this movie definitely... Um, it made me feel what was happening. And I, I, I don't know how to explain it. From the moment that you put me in this in this movie in this world to be enjoy these characters, I just felt the temperature rising. And in the movie, it's based off of compression pressure that's underneath, and how it you know if you don't do the proper testing and you do not do the proper layering, the pressure can come up and backfire on you and screw up everything. And I literally felt like pressure was building the entire time I'm watching this movie. It was getting rougher and rougher and and they they drop you too right away because in the beginning they just do a little little bubble boop, boop, and then you're just sitting there going okay well so obviously something's starting so um in, in a sense the hero to villain complex you get the villain with the bp and um I, I honestly the other the biggest villain was the oil and that's just the thing like they go those two go hand in hand so it's almost they became this this hierarchy of this arch nemesis of um you know the corporate the corporate head who it, it, it's uh, mucho dinero, and then you know you got the oil that's that's natural. It's mother nature. It's not gonna do what you want it to do. It's environment, exactly. It's, yeah, and, yeah, and the thing uncontrollable. is uncontrollable. Yeah, and and the, you get you get these main characters that you you already appreciate. And Mark Wahlberg's character, the way you introduce him, he's this family man, and you know he's got this this gorgeous wife. And I don't even like blondes, but she was gorgeous and she was supportive and she was loving and she was. She was a woman's woman. She was a great woman, and she she handled shit. So um, the daughter was adorable. So you just get attached. Kurt Russell, you didn't need to meet anybody. You just had to meet him to know that you liked him. <laughs> and so overall, hero villain complex story dynamic, the whole nine yards. What I felt, it's getting a nine point five. Nice. So um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I will watch it again, and uh, it's something I would purchase afterwards. Too. Well, I am happy these guys are on board. <laughs> Because I highly recommended the movie. <laughs> and I will I, I will up? agree with you. Gina Rodriguez just kind of ticked me. Because it's like, she started off as an... I, I, you know, I, was, I was almost going to... I was like, that's not Michelle Rodriguez. And it wasn't. But I was just like, I was kind of ticked because she started off pretty awesome. And then she just bucketed out, you know? And I, I, like... She, that's a real life scenario, though. Like, I what know. are you going to do when it comes down to the wire, you know? Yeah, uh, fixing cars... And controlling a big rig like that, an a oil rig, totally yeah. different. Yeah. yeah but, and she wasn't even good at fixing cars. No. So, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine how she would be nervous yeah. when something goes wrong. Yeah, well, like, I guess what kind of ticked me was she was trying to do the right things, and her stupid bust. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, my. That was our blitz. Blitz! So, if you don't want to watch, turn it off now. This is, that was our spoiler-free. Spoiler-free blitz. 
So, so you guys. now we're about to get into the spoilers. Oh, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should all just do it like spoilers, spoilers. So, okay. Introduction to the character we got is family. Right. I thought it was a great. I thought it was a great family unit. I yeah. thought it was a great, like, okay, so uh, we, we go into Mark Wahlberg's character is what you're talking about, right? Yeah. And, 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 you know, we, and, and the thing I love about this movie is because it, it, it takes you at the start of the day, you know, right. wake up in the morning, you know, love my wife, you know, love my family, I'm going to take <laughs> off. All right, I'm gonna be the away for second of the ninety second. <laughs> right, <laughs> she's gorgeous, Kate Hudson. <laughs> and so, like you know, he, he he they tell you, you know, I'm gonna be taking off for three weeks. So it's like, okay, already you're gonna be away from your family for three weeks. You gotta work. You gotta do your thing. All right, handle it. But you know, you couldn't predict what was gonna happen that day. So they take you. You know, you you can't write a story about it. This is what actually it went down. You know. You can't you can't predict that like okay I'm gonna wake up today and I'm I may not see my family again you know it's just like it, stuff like that goes down and and I got that sense you know the story is about survival and what you're gonna do to see your family at the end of the day you know so what do you guys think you would have done would you have like saved anybody or would you try to be fighting to to get to the, the that's, ship that's the beautiful thing about movies <laughs> like this for me because the thing so, is the question. beautiful thing about movies like this is honestly I. You, I can sit here and hope, okay, if something like that happened, my goal would be to help as many people as possible. In my head, I would love to do that. I would love to be that strong, that capable, and I hope that if I ever reach that moment in my life, if that ever happens to me, I live up to that expectation. But that's the beauty about this movie is you do not know who you're going to become when shit hits the fan like that. Yeah. Pardon my French on that. But at the same time, you saw you saw the difference in people. There were people who were cowarding. There were people who were who were helping, that were trying, right. and didn't give up. But the thing is, the other thing too is all these people knew each other. So there's a family dynamic on their on their ship too. There's people who sacrifice themselves, mm -hmm. and and it's just like I think when that comes into play, especially if you know you're on a ship and you have a family dynamic, that would push me more to make sure that we all work together to get everybody off that ship. But what if you don't get off? Would, would you? Are you a bad person if you just wanted to hurry up and get off? You didn't really. You can't blame someone for wanting to do that because they have their own family, right? Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, too, it's like no one's really truly going to recognize you for doing anything. You know, there's the, there's no heavy presses after that acknowledging. You. Although they made a movie based off of the heroism of this. Yeah, and they, you know, it took how long to come out now to finally. You know, I I didn't know it went this deep when it happened. Yeah, I mean, so it definitely made me more intrigued. I'd like to see more of a documentary, more in depth of what exactly happened. I definitely want to see a documentary now. Like, yeah, I yeah. need to know everything. I want happened. to know everything. Yeah. everything down to that's how good and, it was. And, and you know what? I, I love the detail that they actually did put in when they take you to this oil rig, basically. Uh, and there was a lot of of these rigs that I didn't even know about. But basically, this thing, I thought they were planted into the ground under the sea and bolted down to like mm -hmm. some drill or something. But no, this thing is two submarines that's floating on water and you've got this whole structure that's just floating. I had no clue. I had no clue. Mm -hmm. I was like, whoa, this is one like crazy piece of technology. The crazy thing is how it's floating. I knew that they float. Yeah. But I was I'm like, how are, how is this big old thing floating? Right. What does it take to get this to float? And they, and they can move it and they you know all that stuff. So I was just like, wow, I, I really appreciated that. And they gave you a breakdown, you know, 126 people on crew, you know, this oil rig, you know, it's like over here, it's named this and they kinda show you some stats going into it. So I really appreciate it. I like that. how they, they showed you all the expertise you know they showed you the guys who clean the mud it shows you the guys who actually look after the actual pipe yeah it shows you the guys who are actually you know making doing all the controls and on the, and the other side of the glass mm -hmm. and they all seem to know what they were talking about i, I even liked how they portrayed the uh, the bp or the villains right, in yeah. this uh oh you know what i liked i love the accents they had those southern <laughs> accents new orleans yeah. accent it was and it was so strong and multiple multiple people had it. Yeah, it was great. It was way better than uh, Magnificent Seven <laughs> <laughs> accents. I will agree. I felt like I was like this is happening right now. Like I'm just another yeah. person in just watching. It. I'm right there. I'm standing right next to everyone. Yeah. 
Like, That's how I felt. Like that mean guy of BP, you know, he would, like they, everyone would tell him uh, as far as the crew, like, have a wonderful day. He's like, you as well, or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and Mark Wahlberg's like, you jackass. <laughs> he was awesome. I, 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 I love the authenticity of those accents. Yeah, it like made that. it more of like, this is this is what really happened. Yeah, it, it gets me into the, the mode of this person. And know? it shows that they care about telling the story. Right. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know? Even the little details matter. It's like where this person's from, and it's just like, okay, you know, he's obviously from the Louisiana area. Did know? anyone break character? I feel like everyone did a really good job. I didn't see anybody break character. Talent. No, yeah. they did a really good job. Like, yeah, I loved every character. Pretty much every character that I was introduced to, because you, you relate to, I think that's the other beautiful thing about this movie, is you relate to everybody. Everybody's just there to do what you're what we're required to do right. in, this, in this world is do the job that needs to get done so you can make some money, go home, and live your life with your family. Right, right. And, and and you know they they have people of all ages in this movie. Oh yeah, yeah. you got the old, old old school guys in this, and then right. you got the more younger guys that are attending to the drill. Right, that are yeah, just like kind they of were knowledgeable. Yeah, they were knowledgeable. They, they were like, uh, this isn't good, you know. But like, you know what? What was messed up? I don't want to say I didn't like it because this happens but we have the bp telling them to do some shit that they shouldn't be doing right and then when the shit hit the fan the workers didn't know what to do right i'm like whoa you should be like on it like if this happens this needs to happen what's the contingency plan here right now i'm like uh well what do we do now so i feel like maybe some of it could have been prevented if they would have just been on it as far as like the procedures right. for you know emergencies well, in this in this case i i doubt that it didn't matter what they were going to do because that pressure was beyond what they could it, 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 it was ready to pop yeah, in. They, they might have been able to get out. Well, well, here's, the other problem. Problem. Yeah, totally. here's the other problem, and, and, and let me know what you guys think, because during a lot of these testing that, w that was going on, uh, Kurt Russell's character, Jimmy, he, he, was, he, he went off, right? He went off and he was taking a shower at the time. So, you know, he went to his room or whatever because he had just flown in or whatnot, and this whole time that they're doing these pressure tests, you know, he, he's off in his room, he went to go take a shower, and then it, it just went so fast. He was still in the shower by the time it exploded. Right. So so if, if he would have known uh, about like the mud coming through and all this, you know, then I feel like he would have been the one to do something about it. He was that That's another thing. authoritative manager. Why did you volunteer to leave and why didn't you go right back? As soon as you were done doing your thing, yeah, I know it was a party for you, but we're on a we're on a freaking oil rig. It, 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 it was just kind of like a like, blunder between him well, and Mark. The, there was that phone call part where he he was talking to the the, the, the gentleman that like was doing the pressure tests, and the pressure test, and um, you know the BP dude was just like he's all you are gonna you know tell me you're not gonna do this even though you see it yourself, and he knew he said this says zero, but that still has pressure on it. So he didn't feel right about it, but he, the guy put him on notation to have the whole pride thing kick in. And when he asked him, "Are we good?" You know, yeah, he's that's, all, yeah, that's we're another good. thing that you can't. I mean, I understand you have like if you have the CEO at your desk telling mm -hmm. you to do something. Also, you're not going to do it. Then you're like, "Oh shit, this is okay. CEO. I better just do it." But really, you got people's lives at stake. I know, better. I know yeah. better, right? I would, I, you know me, better. Me in, in his Kurt Russell's position at that point would be like, "Okay, I'll be right up there." I want to see the test myself. You still right. have results up? Right. I want to check it out. And as techs, we run tests. We run yeah. speed tests. Yeah. Speed Speedtest.net or whatever. Yeah. We don't just run it one time. Yeah. We run it three Couple times. times. Run a call trace. Consistency. Besides, <laughs> I mean, we just, we just got finished doing that right, right now, right? A couple we, different ways. Right. You know? We don't just do it one time. Oh, well, I guess it works. Yeah. No, no. You're, you're wrong. Next. Right. We, we keep it going so we can at least get an average. Right. Well, what if we do going. this? What if we do this? Right. Different environments, different scenarios. I didn't, I didn't like that part. I feel like that, that if it did happen, I mean, I'm not, I'm not digging it from the movie, but as right. far as what you did as a person wasn't efficient enough. I, I feel like, okay, even if they did, that, that's fine. Uh, you know, they probably actually did that in real life, let's just say, just to humor the fact that they did. They, they kind of showed us a one bit of it where they were like, okay, well, let's just go this uh, kill route, this kill switch route, right? I don't care. You do, you do right. it three times on a kill switch. Yeah. yeah. On a kill pipe. That's right. what it's Kill the, pipe. The, the kill pipe, yeah. You did, you did, it, yeah. you did it multiple times Zero. over here. It didn't pass. Yeah. So let's do it multiple times over here. Right. That's, I feel like, well, I, I try to look at things in different aspects. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, we can see it from BP. We can see it from the public. But I also like to see it from the actual person who was the victim. Yeah. Because sometimes, because you can learn from those type of Absolutely. scenarios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you should have tested way more. You shouldn't have let the the mm-hmm. CEO, which is not a drill conductor or right. whatever you want to call him, right? He's not that. So this was basically BP calling the shots and not wanting to pay extra money for the testing. Yeah, they, they should have done. Forty three days behind. <laughs> All the three ah, days. I loved it. I was so ticked off about that. Like, because here's the thing. Like, I think I just think it's ironic that in, in, in today's natural world, it's like, oh, we're behind schedule. I, I go to the whole concept of, okay, look, I get it. You're worried about the kaching, but at the same time, this machine, if it's not run and done properly, you lose the machine. You lose the money anyways. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, are you really a good businessman if all you're thinking about is a, sp- a freaking schedule? What's cheaper? Like, well, see, a lot of, like, if you go to, uh, let's say, a junkyard or something that's like, you know, an odd job, they try to get away with a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. And I get it. You know, like, okay, we don't, everything's not perfect. You know, the couch might have holes, but can you still sit down? Yeah. Okay, well, then you were good. We don't need to buy a whole new couch. Exactly. Right. So I get it a little bit, but... If you know the risk, I feel like we they should have really known the risk with that particular uh, error. Yeah. And they just kind of still ignored it as if nothing was going to happen. I'm like, well, don't you know this is dangerous? That's what I'm saying. They got too comfortable with it. Like, they, 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 and then they came up with the whole bladder effect thing. And I'm just sitting there like, right. no. If, if, if you, no, 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 no. I, I would, if I would, I'd been there, I would have been like, just walk up to them, just slap their coffee out of their hands, just like you did, and be like, no. <laughs> Keep going until you get it right. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, it, it sounded good because what the actual engineers were, were expecting for the if it was if it wasn't passing the pressure, there should right. be some mud coming up. Yeah, it didn't come up, so like, well, I guess that's possible, like twenty percent chance that it could be some bladder effect. Run it again, but yeah. I mean, I, I would, yeah, like you said, run, run it again. Run. I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna just do it just cause. You yeah. know, we gotta change something up, change out the drill. Let's put something else so that we get that zero. That and we, then you know. they just lay, they just lay the cement. And I get mad at some of these historical events because I'm, I am pro life, all the way. And when you have big businesses not caring about the lives, they put them, put people in areas where they can get cancer, where they can get the disease, or they can get hurt or blew up, and they, they seem like they don't care. It really makes me upset. And then when they lay down the cement, and they don't test it to see if it's dry, if it was laid properly, or whatever they need to do to test the cement. They just don't. They send the guys home. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're already there. Yeah. Just test it. Send them home. No, we don't need that. What do you mean? Yeah. Like, just because you sent down a, a, a submarine with a camera? Yeah. Now you say we don't need to do the test? That bothered me so bad. We have to test. Cutting corners. Cutting corners. Yeah, exactly. That's the funny thing, too. They, 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 like, do you remember? They, they said it would only take like maybe uh, you know 12 hours to test properly. Okay, what's one more day? You're already 43 days late. No one's going to cry about it. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And that's, that's my thing. And you, you could have got your money. Nobody would have died. Then you'd move on to the next one, made more money, and you, you'd be up in your knees in money. Yeah. But no, you're not. The BP, BP is known for having those issues. They have all type of explosions and deaths on their on their sites so all I'm the time. I'm calling BP the official butt pirates. You're a douche. <laughs> you're a douche, BP. I've seen some other documentaries about them, and they they're not a. I mean, I'm not going to just point them out or single them out, but I will. they do a lot of crude things, and, and what I'm saying is that other companies probably do too. But they do a lot of crude things. You know, they're They've had, you know, CEOs had to get fired or let go or whatnot because of some of the things that that, that have happened. Mm-hmm. You know, so I wasn't yeah. surprised that when I saw it, it said BP. I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, uh, okay, so we basically, uh, one thing I wanted to bring up because you brought up a good point, you know, they get fired or whatnot. These uh, uh, people at BP, these executives or whoever they were, you know, they got charged in 2010 for manslaughter yeah, charges. Manslaughter. manslaughter. And then 2015, the charges were dropped. I didn't want to know they didn't want to go to jail. The hell? You can get indicted for whatever, but that doesn't mean you went to jail. I was like, they need to dude, be in jail. How much money did you throw at a judge to drop those charges? Because I feel that's what it had to take, you know? I so said, if a captain it, it, leaves his ship right. before everyone else is off, he goes to jail. That's jail time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's happened before. So happened I feel before. like if yeah. you want to be the captain, you want to yeah. be the acting captain, you want to tell people what to do, tell your 
your experts what to do. You want to take responsibility if it right. goes wrong? Then you need to go to jail. All right, then. Yeah. You, period. You take exactly. the letter effect and you sit up there. There's no charges dropped. Even if they got out, even if they did their time, even if it was seven years mm-hmm. and they got out, because I mean, ultimately they weren't trying to kill people. Right. Yeah. But if it was seven years and they got out, then it shouldn't, charges should not be dropped. Mm-hmm. That should stay on your record. Yeah. Right. Period. And see, I would also like to know what BP did after that for all those families and all those people, those crewmen. Like, at that point, I know at the end of the movie they said some of these people went back to work and did this and that. Right. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm sorry. You make a butt ton of money. So guess what? You're set for the rest of your life. Yeah. You, every single one of those people that survived should not have to have paid one bill, mm-hmm. should not have to worry about money, period, and should have gotten their salary, if not a full level of salary for all of them, and they, they could have just lived their life. I would have liked and, to know if yeah. they done that. I don't know if there was like some type of waiver they signed where they didn't. Yeah. They right. knew they were doing a risky job. Yeah, absolutely. Liability. And right. then like, okay, if you die, then uh, this person takes uh, whatever. But being know, that it was the CEO, well, not the CEO, but it was the company. non-expert's fault, yeah. kind of like the corporate's fault. Mm-hmm. I feel like they should got something. They didn't tell us or not, but yeah, but yeah. definitely I'm should. Like a documentary, like I'm yeah, I definitely want to see it. Right. What yeah. happened? You know, I want to know the details. details. Yeah. So people. I got my sentimental value. Oh yeah. Oh. I got my action yeah, for comedy. real. It felt like it was there. Like I was there. Like oh my gosh, I could possibly be on fire right now. The action was like exorbitant amount, just like a ridiculous amount. The moment that first explosion goes off. And it takes it through the whole entire cabin. And it's just like, poof, poof, poof. I was like, there's no way anybody's going to survive this. There's yeah. no way. And I didn't want to see it at first. I was like, you know what? You know, I kind of we feel like we wasted money on Sully. It is what happened. What are we really <laughs> going to go review? Like, I didn't like the storyline. Well, that's a true story. So I can't, what am I saying to that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad I went to go see this movie because I, I liked it from start to finish. You know, I, I want to give shout outs to the director too, because he also did uh, um, Lone Survivor, and I feel like this—he's—he's yeah. th- he's doing a great job about following these characters and really like getting you know the core character. Even in Lone Survivor, yeah. fo- uh, it followed. They actually put the actual guy that survived the whole thing in the movie. Yeah, and so like w- these all these movies about survival and these true events, like. You can't write it. This this actually happens. You just you got the story. Just do it. But he can really film it. The filming you, part though. really puts you in. The it's awesome. It's awesome. Like, it, yeah. uh, just a you know one of the core things in, in Lone Survivor. You know, like there's times where these guys had to jump off cliffs, and they had to survive falls hitting rocks. I haven't seen down. it. Sorry. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> hey, if it's not a trailer, then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, it, 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 part of it wasn't. No, it wasn't but, I'm, but I'm just saying, like it. it just the thing is, you. you I felt so. I felt so much a part of that he, world. He, he, he does a great thing about the impactful, and we got this out of this deep water horizon. You know, the, yeah. you got these explosions and this gas going everywhere, and and you know, even even when there's just like fire blazing out of this thing, and everybody's trying to get off, it's like, you know, some people are taking people and helping each other, but for the most part, everyone's just kind of scrambling. You know. Oh, that's one thing. That's why I got I gave it a nine, which it could have really happened. Yeah. So maybe I shouldn't take away a point for that, but. But all that fire, I feel like no one got burned as far as like third degree burns or even like going up the stairwell, no one's hand got burned except for one time right, when they yeah. were going up that uh, ladder. But right. I'm like, that should have been happening all over the place. Yeah. And like, you don't got gloves on? Where are your gloves, man? It's fire. Yeah. Well, well, well uh, when uh, Mark Wahlberg's character and um, Dylan O'Brien's character, Caleb, they had to go uh, cut the reserve power on, and I think he had touched a handle too, and he got burned, and he needed to get a glove on and that kind of stuff. And most of the so, guys were but, actually wearing gloves and stuff, so that's why I figured the hand burning. Yeah, yeah, and, and the burning, I can see what you're saying. And and you know, this is me again. I'm just filling up like information in my head. <laughs> I could imagine. He does. That. <laughs> I could imagine that they would build a structure that is heat resistant in some aspect of, or another. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> <laughs> throwing that in there. Yeah, right? no, no. I may be sure. It's arguable. I mean, <laughs> I would think that they wouldn't be telling their engineers to do stuff that isn't safe, but yeah, they did. Yeah. So that's true. And that's there's true. a really good chance that their suits, their suits were similar to firefighter suits, where they were they were heat resistant. Fire themselves. retardant. Uh, yeah. I get that. Yeah. But, you know, but fa- the face is still exposed. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No one's wearing any mask. 
Um, and they're just touching everything. Oh man! And Kurt Russell's character got messed oh, up. Dude. He got so messed man. up when 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 he got blasted. That was first awesome, of all, though. his eyes were just shut and like. I like, thought he was blind. I thought like some thought, glass thought, got in yeah, there. Yeah, his eyes were done. Blind, yeah, because yeah. he was cut up and stuff. And then that glass on his foot, I was just like, oh. But he is oh, tough that glass, as taking out that glass on his foot was so brutal. I was like, oh, he put his God. feet in a boot and was like, I gotta go. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. dude, this is why you're the freaking captain. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that part was so awful. There's going to be a lot of brutal moments, a lot of real life moments. Yeah. Like, I can't even, bo- I can't imagine myself taking that. Long of a piece of glass out of my foot, putting on shoes and walking upstairs trying to get out. Can't even imagine it. Well, I'm dying here. <laughs> this is how I go up. Like, oh my gosh. I, I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine any of that. That's yeah. why the way it was filmed to me was just beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah. I got everything that I needed. You were putting the moment. A lot. Yeah. And I did not laugh this time because it was a real event. I he laugh at people. He has a nervous laugh. laugh. He has a nervous <laughs> laugh is what I call I only it. laugh when it's fictional. That when someone gets toe up, hit, thrown, blow up, blown up, up, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> then I laugh if it's fictional. But if it's real, then it's kind of more like, um, I guess, surreal for me. Like I can't. People actually yeah. went through this, you know, yeah, and right. it, it's like it's like I mean, mentality wise, it, I, I put myself in like, whoa, this actually went down. Like everyone's like going through this. I got a sense of panic out of this movie mm-hmm. and. It, it was great. Every acting was on point. Uh, I have a ton of favorite characters of this oh, movie. Yeah. And I love his wife. I, yeah. I can't imagine calling around. And she was freaking out. She first called of all, I'm else talking to wife. him on on I don't know face chat, face yeah. Skype or something. Skype. Right on yeah. Skype. Yeah. And it just cuts out. And now I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. And I see this on TV. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'll be, I'll be freaking out because. Right. And then she gets the emergency numbers, calls around, starts right. writing out stuff, and then she starts getting little bits and pieces. Wreck. And then the daughter comes in. What's going on? Yeah, like, oh right my now. god. Not right now, yeah. baby. Not right now, <laughs> right. baby. Yeah. And like, but you felt for her. Like, you're like, damn. Like, but the thing is, you know, uh, as a woman, you got to, got to love her for it. You know, she, she called around. She did what she needed to do. She started getting details. She started figuring out a plan. That's up the thing, and the thing is, like, for Ma- at the end of the movie, that hit me hard because I'm sitting there, and and Mark Wahlberg's character is like dazed and out. He goes up to his hotel room, takes a shower, and then he just breaks just down on the man. floor and he falls apart. Breaks down. But yeah. the thing is, she was right there. She was on it. She went to him, grabbed him, hold him, and did. and it's just like oh, it's so you, awesome. you, you know, you think so about awesome. you, you think about Sully and that uh, that as a movie, and, and and the partnership of him and his wife, and and what they had, you Terrible. know. <laughs> <laughs> and you and you and you go see this movie and it's just like, yeah, that that that's, that's love, that, yeah, right. That's what it was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Right? Do you want us to come out there with you? No, baby, I'm good. Well, okay. What? That's not even a question. You just you just crashed the plane. I'm coming out there. After I heard that, heard that, I was like, divorce. <laughs> that's a Man. stupid question. I'm gonna take a couple days off. <laughs> but yeah, you definitely get a lot of. Love you get a lot of camaraderie with the people on the on the bridge. You get a lot of love, you know, from the outside family. Yeah, because the crew was pretty tight. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. They all seemed to have you know a good relationship. You know, hey Bob, hey John, like you know, everyone was real cool. You know, yeah. so because yeah. everyone wants to leave, everyone wants to go home. That yeah. is the, that's the yeah. that's the thing. You're on there, you're living together, and then you're working. You know, so you're like twenty four seven. With, right. with you do your job right, I can do my job right, and we can go home. At the end of the day, and when we're not doing this, I go home, and you know, then we start it's over. You know, but so anything that we're missing here, anything you want to just no, because like, I feel like it was a great movie. You should definitely be going and go. Everyone see that. should go see yeah, it. Should go watch it. Support this was movie. Deep Sea Horizon. Deep Sea Horizon. Deep Sea Horizon. Yeah, and and if no, you get deep a water chance, horizon, deep sorry. water horizon. Deep water horizon. Damn it. <laughs> You guys, I focus so much on getting the other movie right. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) jeez. Deep Water Horizon, but definitely go see it. It was a great movie. It was an awesome movie. Yep. So, all right. So, if all hearts and minds are sound, then we're good. All right. Break room bliss, baby. I'm out. I'm DeAnthony. I'm done. Mr. Coach. And we're out. Take care, guys. Peace. Peace. All right, let's take a quick picture. In the same spots, actually. I like that. Oh, right here? Mm hmm. Cons, check this out. What's up, dude? Let me know what you think. Don't she look fine, though? She's cute. I, Bomb. I don't go for the Who looks fine? Her right there. All right.
little piece of freedom. I like that. Oh, yeah. But I'm uh, serious enough to see that and raise you guys because I feel I got the winning hand here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, just.